Or is it adjunct accounting professor at Montclair State University, Dan Geltrude? All right, Dan, let's just jump right into this. So according to the Cato Institute, the prices of groceries increased by 21% in the year since President Biden took office with prices on essentials like milk, bread, meat, and eggs shooting way, way up. Compare that to prices rising just 18% between 2010 and 2021. President Biden, however, claims inflation is way down. Take a listen. Wages keep going up. Inflation keeps coming down. Inflation has dropped from 9 percent to 3 percent, the lowest in the world, and tending lower. Oh, my goodness. Well, I, at least I guess he didn't whisper, it's working. So, Dan, has the dramatic rise in grocery prices just more evidence that Bidenomics is not paying off? Look, where people really feel inflation, Alex, is at the grocery store. Everybody's got to eat. So when people are out there shopping and they see where these prices are, no matter who is telling them what about inflation, all they're going to believe is, is when they're checking out and seeing how high those numbers are on the register. So the bottom line is this. People are feeling the pain. And whether inflation is coming down, it's still the cumulative effect of year over year over year. So I don't think anybody's buying into that story. No, I mean, words are just words. You know, my own eyes, they don't, they don't fool me when I'm looking at my receipt once I check out of the grocery store. Um, so how about this? In some shocking news, General Motors slashing the price on their brand new Chevy Blazer electronic vehicles by almost $7,000. Now this, following the auto giant halting production for 11 weeks on the EVs due to charging and software issues. My goodness, Dan. I mean, it seems like car companies have had nothing but problems with these EVs. I mean, do you think slashing the price was the right move here for GM? Well, probably because they have so much in inventory that they're going to have to move. Look, the price of, the, of these EVs is simply too expensive. Then on top of that, when you put in the lack of infrastructure, like where do you charge when you're on a long trip? And I'm going to bring up something else here. The resale market uh, on these EVs is not great either. So after you buy one of these things and you want to resell it, what do you do? Mm -hmm. And I think one more thing, Alex, people don't like to be told what kind of car they have to buy. Yeah, and then, Dan, on top of that, me and uh, Hillary Ford, which we talked about this on Friday, people do not realize how bad it actually is for the environment creating these EVs, what it takes to mine everything that goes into these electric vehicle batteries. Everybody needs to go and take a look. They're not good for the environment whatsoever. They cost a heck of a lot more money to make. Uh, okay, so how about this? More bad news for Boeing. I don't think anyone's shocked at this point with the DOJ announcing they will open a criminal investigation into the aerospace giant following several safety incidents. My goodness, Dan, before this criminal investigation was announced, the National Transportation Safety Board expressed concerns over Boeing's safety culture and lack of cooperation with government officials following January's famous now mid-air blowout. My goodness, I think there was at least three other incidents to close out the week last week. Where do you see this all going for Boeing? Well, we simply can't have this, Alex. You can't have doors flying off of airplanes mid-flight. You can't have tires blowing out on takeoff. Look, these are quality control issues. And, and when you're talking about people's safety, this is not something to mess around. So I think the criminal investigation is warranted. And let's see where this lands. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, so the push to ban TikTok gaining a lot of momentum. Congress said to vote on a bill calling for the CCP tied fight dance to divest of TikTok in America within six months or face being completely banned from app stores. I mean, Dan, is time running out for TikTok in America? I mean, also, is a good business to trust a CCP owned company with so much personal information from Americans? Well, here's the thing of what they say about technology. There's two types of people. Those who've been hacked by China and those that know they have been hacked by China, right? So I don't really know what is uh, more invasive, whether it's TikTok or all the other personal information we have out there. So I'm not a technology expert, but is a ban really going to work where there's so much other access to everything that we have and everything we do. I, I just don't know if this ban would really achieve the results that they're looking for.
Yeah, Dan, I think that's a fantastic point. I mean, getting rid of TikTok is certainly not going to solve all the issues um, that China is um, having here in the United States. So, Dan Galtrude, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Always a pleasure to have you. Thanks, Alex. All right.